You want to build some muscle? Well, I think you're in the right place. Welcome to Stay Anabolic, and I'm going to lay down a basic bodybuilding foundation for you and give you an overview of macronutrients and macronutrient ratios. Here's your foundation. Work hard in the gym, eat right, and sleep enough. I'm sure we're all on the same page here. We hear this all the time, all bodybuilding articles, etc. But I can't stress it enough. If you lack this foundation, you are not training, you are just working out. Now we're past the foundation, I'm going to transition into an overview of macronutrients. In order to achieve large gains in muscle, we need to trigger three hormones, testosterone, insulin, and HGH, human growth hormone. Not only do we have to produce these hormones, but we have to produce them at the right time and in the right quantities. And this is where nutrition timing and calculating daily macronutrient consumption comes into play. There are three macronutrients, carbohydrates, protein, and fats. Carbs are your body's go-to energy source. Proteins are the building blocks that your body uses to create muscle. Fats are going to act as a buffer to help your body maintain general health and sanity. If you're training hard, get your fats in. Keep in mind, these are grossly oversimplified interpretations of these macronutrients. But to keep it simple at the moment, because we can get into more advanced calculations later, factoring in basal metabolic rate, body weight, body type, percentage body fat, etc., you want to consume for all your meals a ratio of 40% protein, 40% carbohydrates, and 20% fat. Now keep in mind this is for strength training. There are various types and qualities of the aforementioned nutrients, but if you stick to this basic ratio, you'll be giving your body adequate fuel. Now this um, makes me want to transition into another point I want to make about post-workout protein shakes. A lot of guys these days train really hard, huge squat day, Afterwards, they guzzle down a protein shake of 30 grams with only 5 grams carbohydrates, and they think they're taking complete advantage of their nutrition timing and, and all that. But after you train hard, your body's glycogen levels are depleted, right? That's your energy stores. You need to replenish these stores in addition to consuming protein, because if you just guzzle down that 30 gram protein shake, your body will then synthesize a lot of that protein into carbohydrates to replenish those stores and you're going to lose a lot of protein absorption during a time when your body is most receptive to it. That being said, stick to a 2 to 1 ratio of carbohydrates to protein post-workout. That means take a shake, eat some carbs. 2 to 1 ratio of carbs to protein. Stick to simple carbohydrates so that they can be utilized quickly as energy and refuel your body's glycogen levels thus allowing it to allocate your protein that you're taking in to your, fatigue, to your fatigued muscle fibers, which is what you want, right? So these are just some basic principles, just an over free overview for you guys. Please let me know in the comments how I can better um, improve my videos or um, if you have any requests or anything like that. Again, please give me feedback. I'm always open. Um, I'm James signing out. Stay anabolic. Thank you for watching.